On October 4, 1957, the Soviet Union launched Sputnik, the world's first artificial satellite. This was bad news for America. If the Russians could launch a satellite into space, then maybe they could launch nuclear missiles too. A month later, Sputnik 2 went up carrying a bigger payload and a passenger, Laika the rocket dog. She proved that a living being could survive spaceflight. Scrambling to catch up, the US launched its own satellite, Explorer 1, in January 1958. They were finally in the race, but the USSR was firmly in the lead. And on April 12, 1961, they pulled even further ahead when cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin blasted off in Vostok 1 to become the first human in orbit. A few weeks later, American Alan Shepard reached space in Freedom 7, but it was almost a year until John Glenn fully orbited the Earth. Meanwhile, the Russians racked up more and more space firsts. The first dual man flight, the first woman in space, the first three-man flight, and the first spacewalk. Many Americans saw Russia as the enemy, and the enemy was winning. NASA scientists needed a major achievement to turn it around, so they focused on one big, bright finish line, the moon. In 1961, President Kennedy made a bold announcement. I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out, of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the Earth. And so the Apollo Lunar Program began. The $25 billion investment was risky, but the potential payoff was huge. It could mean untold technological advancements, and even more important, it could mean victory in the world's eyes, a triumph for American democracy and ingenuity over Soviet totalitarianism. On July 20th, 1969, just six months before the end of the decade, Apollo 11's lunar module landed on the moon. 500 million people around the world watched and listened as Neil Armstrong stepped on the moon's surface. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. The very next day, an unmanned Soviet craft called Luna 15 descended to the lunar surface. It was supposed to land, robotically collect rocks and soil, then return to Earth. But at the last minute, Russian technicians changed Luna 15's course, trying to get close to the American landing site. Instead, the Luna 15 crashed and was destroyed. The Soviet Union never made another lunar attempt. The space race was over. In a come-from-behind victory, the USA won.